Things. This is Spec Ops 56 coming to you from reloading bench number one here in the E Man Woman Haters Club, otherwise known as the Man Cave. This is my video entry into Flannel Pajamas Subscriber Appreciation Giveaway. Now, Flannel Pajamas, you wanted to know uh, about any time that uh, we ever had a problem with gun safety. Well, uh, the story I'm going to tell you now is something I don't like to talk about, I don't like to think about. When I think about it I feel embarrassed, ashamed, and even a little bit frightened uh, when I think about what could have happened. Uh, this story will illustrate the folly of making assumptions and what happens when you Ignore the gun safety rule that says never point a gun at anything that you're not willing to destroy. Now this happened in the mid-1980s when I was still in the Navy and stationed aboard a ship in Norfolk, Virginia. My wife and I were living in an apartment in Virginia Beach at the time. Now I had just come back from a uh, trip down here to South Carolina to visit my parents and I have brought uh, a uh, gun case with several um, handguns in it to shoot and do some planking while I was down here. Now I always had a, a rule that I never put a gun back in the gun case that is loaded. I always unloaded it before I put it in the gun case. That way I knew that any gun that was in a gun case would be an unloaded gun. You starting to get an idea of where this might be going? Well, uh, this it had been a couple of weeks and I just hadn't taken the guns out of that gun case. And uh, it so happened that uh, we were watching uh, TV and it happened to be on C-SPAN and at the time the uh, Congress critters were debating some gun control bill and uh, so of course uh, you know my um, irritation level was uh, rising and especially when uh, one of the more notorious gun grabbers in Congress uh, got his face up there and was uh, talking about all these evil assault rifles and such as that. And so I decided that I was going to go get my Ruger single six single action 22 revolver out of the gun case because it was in the gun case I knew it was unloaded. Uh, so I extracted it from the gun case and I proceeded to aim it at this individual on the TV screen uh, and aimed right between the eyes, caught the unloaded Ruger single six and pulled the trigger. Well a few days later when I got my uh, expensive, uh, now doubly expensive, nice TV with a nice new picture tube back from the uh, TV repair shop, uh, I, had, I had just about calmed down. <laughs> so it's, you know, it seems funny now to think, you know, to talk about it, you know, yeah, I, I shot the TV. Luckily it was only a 22 long rifle. Luckily it was a big, heavy, deep TV, so the uh, 22 slug was fully captured by the picture tube. And that was about a, about a two, three hundred dollar uh, lesson. But even more than that, uh, some, for some reason I had brain farted and put that Ruger single six back in the gun case with a fully loaded cylinder. 
And then later, I made an assumption. Never, ever assume anything when it comes to handling firearms. And never, ever point the firearm at anything you aren't willing to destroy. I was not willing to destroy my expensive TV. However, I was more willing to destroy that than I was pretty much anything else. And I thank God that the TV is the only thing I destroyed. I thank God that I was not stupid enough to point it at anything more important. So that's my story about my gun safety failure. It's never happened again. It never will happen again. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying something else might not happen, but I can say with 100% confidence that that particular safety lapse will never ever happen with me again. I hope that you will learn from my mistakes and not the hard way. That's my safety story. I hope uh, everybody that enters the little giveaway has good luck. And this is Spec Ops 56 signing off. Well, a wiser fellow than myself once said, sometimes you eat the bar and much obliged. Sometimes the bar while he eats you. <laughs>